Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this tutorial we will learn how to create assets on Oxidator to store credentials and then how to get these credentials from the assets on the YPath project. So before starting this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also give a thumbs up so it really helps the channel to grow and the video to reach to more people. So let's get started by creating asset on Oxidator. So I'm already on it. So here, let's click on assets. And now let's add a new asset and click so on create a new asset. So here, let's define the asset name. So just to create, let's see here different tutorial credentials, for example. And then here on type, very important, let's select the type credential. And now here we just have to provide the credentials. So let's do it. So now that we have provided the credentials, let's click here on create. And now the asset is already created. So how we can now get these credentials stored on this asset on our YPath project. So here, let's click on activities and let's search for the activity get credential. And so this activity allows us to get credentials from assets that stores credentials. So here, let's drag this activity to our project. And now here we just have to provide the asset name. So let's get it. And let's paste it inside the bulk quotes. And now we just have to create two variables, one to receive the password and another to receive the username. Let's do it. So here, str password. And then let's create the variable str username. So now, just to see if we are getting the credentials, let's write them on the notepad. So let's use the use application browser activity and let's open the notepad. And now let's indicate here to the activity, the notepad. And now let's use the two activities type in to type the username and the password. So the first one, so let's indicate here the area where we can write on the notepad. So here, let's type the username. And then let's add another type pint activity to type so the password. So let's now indicate here the variable that stores the password. And as we can see, we are getting here an error and why? Because it's expected to receive a string and our variable that stores a password, it's a variable of type secret string. So in this case, we should here on the type in the activity, click on secure and now provide the variable again. So by this way, this activity is able to decrypt the value inside of our variable str password. So here, just another thing, make sure here on empty field, you select the option none. So by this way, the activity will not delete the username that it's wrote before enter the password. So let's test if it's working. Let's close the notepad and let's run our project. And as we can see, we got here an exception on get credential with the message could not find an asset with this name. So in this case, so let's stop the process. And why we are getting this error. So we can see here on YPath Oxidator that I have created this asset on the shared folder. So we should indicate this here on the Oxidator folder path on this property of the get credential activity. So let's enter here, Sharon. And now let's run again our process. And as you can see, we got successfully the credentials from the orchestrator asset.
So, if you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to don't miss any more white path tutorials. Bye bye and I will see you on the next tutorial.